we're out in public and taking a walk and I just want to show you these little exercises I do with Ed out on the street sit and if he's distracted and there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on around us uh, he may hesitate with his commands so you just put him there okay so these left circles where I keep the leash loose and I walk left into him at the end of that left circle I say sit they're very helpful because you might want to move up by the tree there so I'm gonna keep walking this way okay he can't possibly pull if you're turning into him these left circles teach a dog to walk right next to you and every time you finish that circle sit he has to sit stop focus wait till you allow him to walk again with you okay I typically do six or eight of these a day are you coming out I guess I wanted somebody to come out but I guess they're not okay six or eight of these a day and it takes me all of two minutes sit and I usually do them before I'm gonna go out in public where we're gonna go in a minute I'm gonna go to Home Depot where there's distractions everywhere because this keeps him calm keeps the leash loose kind of puts him in the zone um, and then he's ready to deal with just uh, people on the street and just different distractions which of course is one of his big issues so it doesn't matter if he's really distracted like this we have a uh, dogs everywhere and you can't see it behind us there are people getting in and out of cars and things like that but you just reinforce these do these circles and reinforce that sit you can see he kind of freezing up freezes up sometimes it doesn't matter you just make him go there also we do this little curb exercise every time we come to a curb I have him sit and then practice this little sit stay at every curb and it really slows him down because he knows we come to any curb or gateway or boundary at all we're gonna stop we're gonna do a little sit stay and he's anticipating that now because we've done it so many times and it really helps him stay calm out in public so you should do this at every curb once you start walking him again and every gateway of course every doorway can do a little uh, at least step in and out of doorways like we practice at your house and make sure he waits and then he walks through with you calmly you never call him to you through a doorway because that will make him rush through doorways so let's say this is a doorway you step out he waits for you to step back next to him and then you have him walk with you through it there's no calling him through doorways anymore because that builds anticipation. Let's say I was calling him to me from curbs or doorways or through doorways. He would be right on the edge wondering when he can come and he'd rush through and that's bad training because it teaches a dog how to be anticipatory, which is his whole problem. We want him to be like the Buddha. There's only one way he leaves that place, goes through that doorway, that's with you, calmly without pulling. So curb, doorway, gateway, whatever it is, he's gonna wait till you come back. You're gonna say, okay and he's gonna walk through you through with you okay let's go bud